In this guide, I'm going to show you how to migrate a site that is currently running on XAMPP to Laravel Herd. In terms of why you might want to make this switch, the number one is speed. The way that Herd has put together and bundled PHP, it's going to run a lot faster than a XAMPP running site. Uh, another reason is it is customized for Laravel in mind. It has all of the dependencies you need for Laravel. It's set up with Composer, basically out of the box. You can start developing Laravel sites very quickly. Uh, third reason, I find the interface is just a little bit more user-friendly to work with than XAMPP. Uh, and it also has some convenient features built in, like the ability to quickly switch between PHP versions. You can even do this on a site-specific level. Uh, it also has automatic site detection. So if you have a Laravel application and you put it in a certain directory that Herd is watching, it will automatically generate a URL and power up that site for you. You don't have to go into config files and deal with virtual hosts and things like that. The only downside of Herd compared to XAMPP is it just doesn't have a database system built in. So if you're using MySQL, you're going to need a separate program for that. And they recommend DB Engine. Uh, which is pretty straightforward to use. So I'm going to be covering that in this guide as well. So let's jump right in. The first thing I want to do before we get started is I want to actually export my database from XAMPP. So I have a copy of it. So once I get it set up with Herd and DB Engine, I'm going to be ready to import that data and start using it there. Uh, to do that first, just make sure that you've got XAMPP open and your MySQL database system is currently running. And then in command line, we're going to run a command called MySQL dump to export our data. Uh, to set up this command, let me go over to the notes that accompany this video so we can copy the command there. If you're following along, we're under step one, export database. And I'm going to copy this command, bring it over to my command line window, uh, paste that in, and let's break down what's going on. The first part is referencing the MySQL dump program that comes built into XAMPP. Uh, we're going to be using that as the root user, so we're indicating that here with the user flag. The root user is the default MySQL user that XAMPP comes set up with. Uh, then we want to fill in the name of the database that we're going to be exporting. In my case, I'm going to be uh, demonstrating this migration on my codewithsusan.com site. So the database name I have set up for that is CWS. Uh, following that, we're going to indicate the path of where we want this backup to go. So I'm just going to throw it on my desktop, and then I'll just name it after the database itself. So I'll run that, and let me just change over to my desktop, take a look at the directory contents, and just double check that that file was generated. It looks like it's a healthy file size, so it looks like we're good to go there. With that done, I'm going to bring up XAMPP and stop all of my services, just so we don't run into any port conflicts when we switch over to Herd. With that complete, we're done with XAMPP, so you next want to go over to the Laravel Herd website and download the installer and get it installed on your computer. Uh, similarly, you want to do the same thing with DB Engine. Uh, once you get them installed and you get Herd up and running, you should see the little H icon in your menu bar. And the first thing you want to do is go into your settings. In your settings under general, you're going to see a list of paths where Herd is going to be looking for Laravel applications. So the only thing you have to do to set up a new application with Herd is just make sure that it exists in one of these directories listed here. Uh, in my example, I'm going to move my existing site from XAMPP into this Herd directory that was created when I installed Herd. Uh, alternatively, if you wanted to, you could just add a new directory that just points to where your application currently lives. Uh, either option will work, but like I said, I am going to go the move option. And uh, once again, let me go over to the notes that accompany this video. I have a command uh, to do that move. So we're just going to run a move command. Uh, the site I'm moving, as I mentioned, it's codewithsusan.com. It currently exists in the htdocs directory of XAMPP on my computer. And then we're going to be moving it over into my herd directory and my home directory. Um, of course, if you're following along with these commands, you'd want to adapt these paths with whatever sites you're moving, the directories you're using, that sort of thing. Uh, but in my case, I can run this exactly as written. So let me copy that, go over to command line, execute that move. And then just to confirm that worked as expected, let's just move into that herd directory and take a look at our directory contents. And there you can see my uh, site folder. So with that there, coming back to herd, if we switch over to the sites tab, it's going to refresh and it should pick up on that site and perfect there we go so you can see it took the name of the directory which in this case it was codewithsusan.com and then it generated a url with a dot test extension you can see the path it's pointing to we have the option of enabling https to access the site and we can also specifically pinpoint which version of php we want to run on currently the only php version i have uh, set up with Herd is 8.2, uh, but if we go into our settings and under PHP, you could see you have uh, other options if you wanted to pick them. 
Uh, but I'm good with 8.2. So uh, let's pull this up in the browser, see where we're at so far. So I'm going to go over to a new tab, plug in that URL. And the first thing we see is an SQL error connection refused. And this makes sense because we haven't set up our database yet. But this is a good sign because we're seeing a Laravel error page. So clearly this is loading my Laravel based application and we're on the right track. But a small footnote at this point, uh, when I was running through this process before recording this video, just to test everything out with a different site, when I got to this point, I was actually seeing a different Laravel error. It was a type error and it was referencing one of my dependencies. The reason that happened is because when I was running the site on question in XAMPP, I was actually running a slightly older version of PHP. It was like 8.1. And as we can see and heard, as of this recording, we are working with PHP 8.2. So there was an incompatibility with the uh, outside dependency I was using uh, that wasn't accommodating the shift to PHP 8.2. To address this, all I had to do was run composer update within my code base. It pulled in the latest version of that dependency, which addressed that incompatibility. And then it started working, or at least working up to this point where we have to address our database. So long story short, if you're seeing any other type of error, go ahead and just try running Composer Update in your uh, application. Could fix the problem. If it doesn't and you're seeing some other error, describe it in the comments below and I can try to point you in the right direction. Uh, but in this example, we're ready for our next step, which is setting up our database. So now we're gonna turn our attention to DB Engine. And in my case, I've already got it installed and it's in my doc, so I'm just gonna open it from there. And the first thing we wanna do is add a new service. So we'll click this little plus icon. For service type, I'm gonna choose my SQL and then I'll just give it a name. And you can leave everything else as the default and click Create and then start the service. And with that started coming back to our application, we're gonna refresh it and we're still getting an SQL error, but it's no longer saying connection refused, which is a good sign. It means we are able to connect to the DB engine, my SQL database server. Uh, it is saying unknown database, and that's just because I haven't imported the database for this application yet. I'll do that in a second, but before I do, I just want to note that uh, to get this connection set up with the DB Engine database system, I didn't have to change anything within my application itself. And that's just because the settings I was using in XAMPP for my database are the exact same with DB Engine. Uh, if you get to this point and your connection is not successful, you might wanna check in on those settings. Maybe you had changed them in XAMPP from the defaults to something else and that's why your connection's failing. And where you're gonna check them is just in your application's environment file. So just to show that quickly, I'm gonna switch over to command line. I'm gonna move into my application and I'm gonna uh, take a look at my .env file and scroll up and find my uh, database information. So here's what I was using in XAMPP. I was connecting to a database called CWS, which like I said, we're gonna create in the second. And then I was using the default username of root, and then the default password was just empty, All right? Those were the default expectations for a XAMPP database, and it's the same default expectations for the DB Engine database. So like I said, you should just be able to switch the services and have your application be able to connect to them. Uh, the only way it wouldn't work is if you were using something other than these credentials when you were working with the XAMPP previously, in which case you would just want to update them here in your environment file and then uh, refresh and uh, make sure you get to the point where it's not saying connection refused anymore. So proceeding forward, let's start by creating our database that we need for this application. And then we're gonna import our data from our backup. Uh, to create the database, I'm gonna do it from my SQL command line. And to get to that, uh, going back to the notes that accompany this video, I'm gonna go down to the section or under here under import database, the first command here is gonna get us into my SQL command line. It's gonna use the my SQL command and it's gonna find that within your uh, DB engine directory on your computer. Um, make sure that the version number that you're entering as part of this command matches whatever current version of my SQL DB engine is running with uh, when you're watching this video. Uh, you can see in this case right now it's 8.0.33. So that's how I have the command set up, but you might have to update it when you're watching this. Uh, we're going to connect as the default uh, root user, and we're just going to specify this local IP address that we're going to be connecting on. So I'm going to copy that in command line. I'm going to run it. And there you can see I'm at the my SQL command prompt where I can interact with my database system. And the first command I'm going to run is create database, and then type in the name of your database. And then all of our SQL commands, we want to terminate them with a semicolon. So I'll run that. And then to confirm it worked, I can run the command show databases. And perfect, there's my new CWS database as well as some default system databases that everybody's gonna see. 
So with that set up, let's import our data. The first thing we're gonna do is run the use command to indicate that we wanna use that database. And then uh, the command to do the import of the data, I'm gonna again refer to the notes, uh, it's the source command, and you're just gonna reference the path to that backup file we created earlier. So let me run that. I'll change this to my database name. From that output, it looks like it was all successful, but uh, let's go ahead and double check by just running the command show tables. And perfect, there's all the tables that I'm expecting. So let's go back to the browser and give our application another refresh. And it looks like we're good to go. No more Laravel errors and our application is loading as expected. So that's the process of migrating from XAMPP to Herd. Hopefully it went smoothly on your end. If it didn't, you ran into any errors, feel free to describe them in the comments below and I could try to help you out.